Alrighty, thanks for coming back. Uh, this is the part two of the two-part series talking about using our control console in our radiography um, rooms. Um, so before we make any exposures on our patients, we have to consult our technique chart, decide what technical factors to choose, um, things like your KVP, your mass, your SID, your focal spot size, your MA. In the last video, I discussed setting MA and time to get your mass number. What we learned from that is, is that mass changes are direct and proportional. If I double mass, then I double the quantity of x-rays produced. Well, what that means for the patient is, is that if you double their mass from, let's say, 5 to 10, okay, and we know we double our factors every time the tissue, is incre tissue thickness increases by 4 centimeters, but in any case, when you double your mass, you're doubling your patient's exposure. So if you have one patient who is 10 centimeters thick and the next patient is 14 centimeters thick for that whatever given body part, you're going to end up giving the larger patient double the quantity of x-rays if you make your um, adjustment using mass changes. Well, what we're learning from digital radiography is that these um, computer-driven uh, images are, be they benefit best from more information. Well, the way you get more information to the receptor is either by sending more x-rays at the receptor or, and actually better, is by increasing the strength of the x-ray beam so more of the beam passes through the patient and reaches the receptor equaling more information at the receptor. So that's what I'll be talking about, KVP adjustments. Okay. When we set KV, on at least on our control console, we have a major adjustment and a minor adjustment. And what that means is, if you look at the KVP meter up here, the major adjustment moves us by a lot. So I was just at 50, I made one click, and now I'm at roughly 66. The minor adjustment moves us by one to two KV at a time. So if I need to make big changes, I use the major adjustment. If I need to make small changes, I use the minor adjustment. A lot of other consoles will just have a KVP selection, in which case you'll just set it. Something to keep in mind here. Let's say I want to set 80 KV, right? So I'm right at 80 KV now, okay? I'm over here, and let's say I've got my mass. This is, a, this is 10 mass shown here. But I know this is the KVP video, but check this out. Watch what happens over on the meter when I just change my MA from the large focal spot settings to the small focal spot settings. When I go down to the small focal spot, my KVP increases because the computer, the, the, the control console is trying to adjust the KVP up for my change down in MA. So for that reason, in the last video, I recommended setting mass first and then KVP second. When we make KVP adjustments, so as I said earlier, every four centimeter increase in part thickness, we should double our technique. You can double your technique by doubling mass or making a KVP change. KVP changes, we make changes by 15% at a time. Roughly speaking, if you're at 60 KV, 60 KV, and you wanted to make a 15% increase, you would increase to about about 70 kV. So roughly 10 kV at a time gets you a 15% increase, just very roughly speaking. So if you want to double your technique on a patient who is thicker than the previous patient by roughly four centimeters, then you would either double your mass or go up 15% in your kV. Now the way this works is if you double mass, as I said, you double your patient's exposure and that doubles technique. If you go up 15% in KVP, that also doubles technique, but it only increases patient exposure by about 40%. So when you're increasing, when you're going up in technique, you it would be better for the patient and for our digital systems if we make those changes by KVP increases rather than mass increases. However, if you're decreasing your factors, you go from a thick patient to a thin patient or a thick part to a thin part, uh, if you cut your mass in half, you cut your patient's exposure by 50%. However, if you go down in KVP by 15%, the exposure only decreases by 40%. 
So making decreases going downward for smaller patients or smaller body parts, the changes are better made by decreasing mass rather than decreasing KVP. But when those changes need to be made as an increase, when you need to increase your factors, the change is better made by increasing KVP by 15% rather than doubling your mass. So that hopefully that's a, a little bit of a, of a, of a tip for you uh, new uh, x-ray techs or students who are studying um, techni the technical factors section. And I hope this was helpful and um, please check back for my next uh, series of videos.